Hey guys, what is up? Um, NFL Weekly back to you again, and we got another game for the divisional round. And yeah, Steelers versus Chiefs. Very close game. You're looking at two teams who've once again been playing really good football all year long. Kansas City, who has um, a power offense, and what I mean by that is they got a big tight end. They've got a good one. They've got a decent quarterback. And the t offense that manages itself at a decent pace and a defense that works well. The record's proven that they're a good team and they can play well consistently. And I believe that they're a consistent team. So that's why, you know, Kansas City, I think they're on a roll potentially. But do I think they can beat Pittsburgh with the big three, momentum, and more? No. I think Steelers are going to take this one. Honestly, I mean, I, I see the Steelers at a position where they have a big momentum boost. You know, they might not have had the bye week to prepare, practice, rest, you name it. But you're looking at a team who has just ha who has a much better quarterback, A. Um, I would say they have a better receiver, uh, which is uh, Antonio Brown, who I believe is better than any of the receivers on Chiefs, and a better running back, Le'Veon Bell. I think he's better than anybody, any HB on the Chiefs running back. Um, once again, I just think offensively, Pittsburgh is dominant for sure. Defensively, different story. Kansas City has got a decent, strong defense for sure. But I think Pittsburgh has a little bit more firepower, and I think they'll be able to, piece by piece, pick apart Kansas City. Because I think that Kansas City doesn't have the firepower themselves to pick out the Pittsburgh defense enough to well they'll get the win. I, I expect a game Pittsburgh to probably lead by, not by much, um, maybe four points, maybe a little bit more than that. But I do expect Pittsburgh to take this one. Now, if you look at stats, Kansas City has had, um, there's their offense. So, offensive stats, they got 13th points, uh, 20th yards, passing yards 19th, and rushing yards 15th. So, they're kind of in the middle offensively. They're kind of in the middle, like kind of an average offense. Not great, not horrible. But, you know, middle of the road. You, I mean, you'll take it. If you, you'd rather take this offense than probably most offenses overall, though. But they're dominant in points. And uh, you look at the Pittsburgh Steelers, and their offense is quite better. they got two stats that are under 10, meaning they've got a top... I would say Steelers definitely got a top 10 offense right now. They've been on a roll. They've won quite a few in a row. And Ben is finding his way along with the other guys. Antonio got two TDs last week. Le'Veon Bell set a record. I mean, you're looking at offense that, that definitely is hot. Now, you have to go to Kansas City. Arrowhead is a rough place to go to. And that definitely, I believe, is going to be interesting. But uh, if you look at Steelers, they went against each other. Look at that score, 43-14. to 14. Now, I definitely, I definitely for sure don't expect that score. But I do expect Steelers to just tip it off just a little bit. And uh, this is just a game that I'm looking forward to. And I can go either way if you really look at it. And it I, won't not, I won't be surprised if Steelers don't win. Um, but at the same time, I see Steelers in a good position, and I see them with momentum. So, there you go, guys. Hopefully you like this video, and I'll see you next time.